After the import, you will be taken to the preview search screen. This is a UI we built to help you explore the service. The HTML tab shows how your data could appear in a search interface you build. You can see the facets we selected and I can filter on action, just like I did a few minutes ago. The JSON preview tab shows the JSON representation of the search results. On the left, you can see the search result counts grouped by facet. On the right are the first 20 movies returned for the search. The raw JSON tab shows you the full result returned from the search service. We'll look at this a little bit later. Let's go back to the HTML view. At the top of the screen, you can see the query that was run when we clicked the action genre. We're not limited to clicking facets. We can enter a more complex query. Say we want to search for movies that are rated PG or PG-13. You can also do a free text search. Say if you want to search for Star Wars or Star Trek movies. For more information, expand the search tips. You can also use facets and API calls to return relevant content on a web page or in an app. Here, the simple search service has automatically selected a facet for my data and it's showing a filtered list of results. In this case, it's showing drama movies. Say my site has a page dedicated to each movie genre. I'd use the API to show a list of only those movies. You can see the API call the service is making here, and if I click this link, you can see the raw JSON returned from the API call.